Hello everyone. Welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time I'm going to solve a couple of problems or bugs that we are having in our melee combat system. For example, if I perform some attacks with these guys and if I got attack in the middle actually it's hard to reproduce so yeah so now it happens so now I, I am trying to move my character with keyboard but I can't move so this is this happens when my montage animation montage is interrupted with another animation in this example I'll explain you what happens here okay so I'll open one of my attack montages well this one so in this one in order to make this uh, animation look nicer so actually if I I have to disable movement here at this part I am disabling movement and right here I enable movement so what this disable and enable movement does is in my character blueprint I have under basic input so this is uh, my movement input so I'm uh, with this what I'm doing is with this disable and in a moment and enable moment and I'm notifiers I set the can move variable if I disable it can move will become false if I enable it can move becomes true so this input values or input axis values uh, movement inputs will be added to the character only if this can move variable is true okay so keep that in mind and then what happens is let's say I am performing this attack so like this I disable movement and I'm in somewhere right here and before I trigger this enable movement notifier what happens if my character triggers another animation montage uh, let's say so when I am doing this when I am performing this attack some other one of these enemies attack me so when they attack me according to the logic I have implemented I do this uh, check hit and if I'm if I get if I got hit by one of them then uh, I play that get hit animation montage let me find where I play that I think it should be right here on weapon hit yeah under on weapon hit so when I got get hit I play one of these animation montages if I am blocking I play the block montage uh, block reaction montage if I am not blocking I pay the I play the hit reaction montage so when my current attack montage is somewhere right here if I play this montage that means this one so because of that my this animation or this animation montage will be interrupted so when it is interrupted this enable moment part will be never fired so as a result of that my character get stuck without uh, being able to move let me reproduce that again right I think no I can still move 
Okay. Oh no, still I can move. Right, now I can't move. I'm trying, actually you can't see, I know. But I'm trying with my keyboard uh, to move him. But I can't move. I'll show you. In my CHU, I'll debug this and show you. So I'll set debug character as the player and here as you can see uh, where's the movement part right here so this move forward is not executing after this node because this can move is false as you can see here so if I want it to well I have a work around for this for now if I want it to be enabled again, again I have to play that animation. Well, I can dodge and come here and... Okay. Now I played that animation and now I can move again. That's because in that time, this part is fired. So that's the problem so how can we solve it okay so for this purpose I am going to implement another variable called mm, I'll call it as ready So yeah, so uh, uh, using this function, this uh, boolean value, I am going to define a logic. Only if this character is in a ready state, I will play another montage. So actually, there will be some other animation, some other interruptible animation montages as well. For that, I don't need this. Uh, only for the non-interruptible animation montages, I'm gonna use this. Okay. Actually, I think uh, instead of using this one, I'll use that same variable can move. I rename. I'll rename this into ready. So it is more general. Okay. Okay, and where do I set this? Right here, under toggle movement. So instead of toggle movement, I'll make this, I'll rename this into, well, no, I don't think that would work. So I'll undo my change back to can move and I'll use this ready function here and here I'll make this uh, set this ready variable as well with this one uh, because I want to keep this can move variable because I think uh, that would be m um, if I remove this that would introduce some more problems well I don't know for sure but let's see okay then I'm going to implement another um, function not a function another macro is ready like this and I'll add a branch input here output here another output like this and as this one as the input I'll use this one ready okay so ready true means yes false means no right so now I'm going to use this 
uh, macro I just created in on weapon hit when playing this montages. right here I'll put is ready and I'm gonna play them only if I am ready okay well let's see if that works Okay, now I think that is sold. And I also have another problem, I guess. So, yeah, I think that's sold here. Okay, so alright, so that's what I wanted to fix today and and in the future I think I should have to use this is ready function in couple more places like actually whenever I play a montage I think I have to do this otherwise uh, we would have some problems alright uh, uh, this episode is sponsored by these uh, these patrons thank you very much for you guys also i will upload my source code updated source code into my patreon as well i'll put the link in the description section you can follow it and download okay see you in the next episode goodbye